time for another check of our weather. Brittany, I've been thinking about what I'm going to wear to church tomorrow for Easter because I, I, you know, for Easter, you got to do it big, but I want to be comfortable at the same time because it's going to be warmer tomorrow. So, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking. So, yes, you know, if I were you, okay, short sleeves to like walk in, okay. maybe a jacket if their AC is going to be blowing. And then by the time you get out, you might feel like you're on a different planet. So you might need to have <laughs> like a tank top or something like that like in the car. Uh, if, or if not, you're going to be sweating because we have 80s back yeah. in the forecast, Nick. 83. I know you love that. I, love I know it. you love that, especially on the last day of March and Easter Sunday. Temperature right now, even warm out there, 67 degrees. You can see that temperature active right now. Dew point still pretty dry, but not quite as dry as we were 24 hours ago, which does bode well for the fact that we were under a high fire danger risk for the mountains and foothills today. That will be improving, though, heading into tomorrow. Gorgeous night for downtown Monroe. You can see all the lights there as we look toward downtown there in Union County. As we're waking up tomorrow, we just mentioned it, of course, mostly sunny. 54 degrees for Easter sunrise. This does occur right around 7 11 in the morning. We will see a lot of sunshine and honestly a really calm start to the day across most of the area. If you're getting out and about in the afternoon, maybe uh, doing the little Easter egg hunt with the kids, I am actually doing one with my dog with one of our producers, Carly, and her dog as well. We're going to hide uh, treats in the eggs and see if the dogs go for them. We'll see how much it works out. But regardless of whether or not you're doing that, uh, dogs, kids, whoever, maybe just enjoying time inside. Uh, and out and about taking a walk, whatever you got going on. 8 o'clock, 54 degrees. You can see those temperatures quickly rising. By noon, we're in the mid-70s, and then around 83 for the forecast high. These temperatures are going to be really, really warm. I know it sounds like a duh, but this time of year often we get really caught off guard with the fact that spring you know, hasn't really fully transitioned, of course, into summer yet. And the humidity is a little bit lower, but hydration is everything, especially to using the sunscreen. You can very quickly get burned outside. And then on top of all of that, you need to put all of this stuff in your bag, right? Making a list uh, as we're checking these things off. Uh, any kind of allergy medication that you might need, nasal spray, things like that. Our pollen levels are off the charts heading into tomorrow and Monday especially. You can see these levels getting up to about the 12. That's the extreme. These are some of the highest we've seen so far this season. And that's because tree pollen typically peaks this time of year. It's always late March, most of the month of April, and then gets a little bit better by late May. The problem is, is we've had these levels pretty high since February because the month was so warm. So, of course, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Something else we're keeping an eye on, as we see that cold front coming in by the middle part of the week, we are going to watch some slightly cooler temperatures by the end of the seven day forecast. So right now on plant watch for Friday and Saturday mornings at this time, widespread frost doesn't look likely, but some mornings uh, that we might need to watch those plants. So if you're doing any Easter planting this weekend, be mindful of that. Of course, we can still see frost and freezes well into April and even sometimes into May. So as you look at your guy roofing seven day forecast, you can see next three days we are warm, warm and warm. Likely today or tomorrow, if not the next day on Monday, will likely be some of the warmest temps we've had so far this year. Next chance for rain comes in Tuesday night into Wednesday. That does bring us that cool down, but we very, very quickly rebound next weekend back into the 60s and 70s and uh, likely eventually the mid 70s by the end of the 10 day. But Nick, I think for the next three days, those are the only ones we'll see in the next two weeks with the 80s. So if you like it, you like the pool, get out and enjoy it while you can. Yep, and I got my sunscreen on standby, Brittany. I knew you would. <laughs> yes. <laughs>